Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so, we're going to continue our lecture on the final topics in chapter 9 or in the final topic for this course, which is on the partial depression equation. And for this time, uh, the approximation will be using the Craig Nicholson or implicit method for the solution uh, to approximate the value for the heat equation. Okay, um, basically the Craig Nicholson approximate the value uh, for a heat equation at the coordinate of xi tj plus half. Okay, so this made the general implicit, implicit formula to become du dt for the coordinate of at the point of xi and tj plus half uh, equal to c square. So this is the coefficient or for the heat. Okay, uh, or the heat movement, uh, du squared dx square over dx square uh, for the point at the xi tj plus half. Okay, so in visual, what we can uh, understand from this equation is that uh, the Kranich-Colson okay we approximate the value for the heat equation at the point between j plus 1 and j okay so in the center or in the symmetric line position in between the y axis so this is the j plus half position okay um uh, from the general implicit formula we can see that the Craig Nicholson has produced the simplified Craig Nicholson formula which will be written as okay it was written as u i j plus 1 minus u i j divided by k is equal to c squared over 2 okay in the bracket u i minus 1 j plus 1 minus 2 u i j plus 1 plus u i plus 1 j plus 1 divided by h2 plus u i j minus 1 j uh, sorry u i minus 1 j minus 2 u i j plus u i plus 1 j divided by h square so this equation can be seen in my slide uh, for the part 2 on the topic chapter 9 in page 3. And for you to solve the um, partial differential equation uh, for the heat equation uh, problems, so you have to use or to you can use the molecule formula or the molecule diagram for Kranich-Nicholson which been written as bottom equal to uh, top equal to bottom okay so for this uh, molecule formula okay so every molecule will represent the coordinate for the on the location of the heat point on the on the diagram okay so basically uh, in the center, okay, at bottom position, this is at coordinate J. This at the top position, this is at the coordinate J plus 1 at the Y axis. Okay, and for the X axis, okay, the center point, we can consider it as a I. So, this will be your I minus 1 position. And this molecule will be your I plus 1 position. So this means that, okay, we start by the center over here. At this position, okay, this will represent the value for U, I, and J plus 1. This is your U, I minus 1, J plus 1 position. This is your U, I plus 1, okay, J plus 1 position. This is your U, I plus 1, J. Okay, this is for U, I, J. And this is U, I minus 1, J position. So, 
this molecule formula will represent um, the approximation molecule eh, which you going to be used which going to be used uh, when you do the approximation for the uh, heat equation okay okay so when uh, so this molecule formula basically is derived or been produced from the uh, simplify molecule molecule uh, simplify heat equation by the Krein Nicholson over here. Okay, so therefore, if you simplify this uh, and by replacing the value of k and h into the simplified equation, okay, what you will get uh, this formula, this molecule formula will be in the form of negative u i plus u i minus one j plus one plus u i j plus one minus u i plus 1 j plus 1 equal to u i minus 1 j u i j plus u i j and also plus u i plus 1 j okay or we can read right back eh, this molecule formula in the form of equation okay like this equal to the bottom parts of the molecule. Okay, so this is the equation, okay, which we extract from the molecule equation of Krenikel.